Welcome to Nostalgia Wii for the year of 2022. So this time we are starting off with possibly my personal favourite horror game, or at least indie horror game, of the last year, which is Janitor Bleed. So, two things before we begin. One, I only really looked at series, like the series playlist, if you don't know on my, like, the normal, the main channel page. I have, like, a 2019 series, 2021, 2022 series. I went through that, or basically do that every year, and picked out, I tried to pick out, I believe, all games actually released this year. This game obviously had, like, a demo before, but then, like, the main games of all of these games release in this year. So there could be an indie horror game that I did a one-off for that I enjoyed more. I have no idea. I didn't go through, like, the entire list. And plus, I kind of wanted to pick ones that I did a series for, so then I didn't have to make, like, a new playlist with just two videos in. So the other thing is, I don't feel ill or sick or anything. I just feel a bit slow and achy at the moment, like, around my body. I have no idea. That's literally the best way I can actually describe it. But let's go. So, I guess the third thing, actually, something I forgot to mention, is some of these games just simply I'm replaying and seeing how much I remember. Maybe I'll do, like, a full playthrough. I might just play this game in particular, like, just however long I want to, because I remember before it took me about two and a half, three hours to beat the game, and it will probably take me about the same amount now, so I'll probably play for maybe 45 minutes an hour. I probably won't play the full game again, because I've already done it twice. I did it once in, like, the original playthrough, and then we played it again to get, like, 100% collectibles and all the achievements, so... I'll just play it again. Nostalgia Week isn't for, like, revisiting games and completely freaking 100%ing them again. It is said that in the forest lives an evil so great. Does it now? Probably had that exact same reaction back in March or whenever this game came out. That it twists the path of a lone traveller like a reeking black hole. Are we- there we go. There is no knowing where the path has led you. Or say the- the other thing when the text is done. Until you are past the point of no return. I remember, yeah, we start here. I don't remember crashing, actually, never mind. I've got to stop saying I don't remember, I do remember. I do that all the time, like, replaying games. That's my entire commentary. Oh, I remember this bit. Oh, I don't remember this bit. Here we go, objective, find help. So, yeah, the other thing is, maybe I'll be returning to games that I basically, like, there's more achievements to get or more collectibles to get. I was going to do an example because I, I kind of want to keep it as a secret, like, what the games are going to be. So if you don't know what Nostalgia Week is, today is Monday, the 26th of December 2022, and until the 30th or the 31st, I don't know when I'm going to do the entire week. There's definitely going to be six videos. I don't know whether I want the last video to be like the... Because if you didn't know, the 31st of December is my birthday, so I'm going to do like a special in real life I'm now 21 video or something like that. Yeah, I don't know if I'm also going to have like another Nostalgia Week episode 7. I do have a seventh game, and basically as well, I've picked it in order. So this is the game, this is the oldest game, and then the game on the 30th or the 31st will be like the newest release. I think I usually edit this bell, so let's actually cut to when I'm in the arcade. Here we go, I guess this is where... I mean, this isn't the arcade yet, I believe this is like the next door house. What's now when I come out and we're either in the arcade or we're nowhere freaking near? Yeah, okay, the arcade's there. Then this is, yeah, I guess, like, just the only bit that you can actually explore, like, properly outside. I know you can go outside, and I think there's, there's another collectible bears, if I remember correctly. I'm going to stop doing that now. I, I think I'm just going to go back to the normal commentary where I just say, I remember, and just not, not acknowledge that I'm actually saying it. I mean, guys, I've been doing this for freaking eight years and a week and a half, eight years and two weeks, something like that. Chance of bleeds, hell yeah. We go around here, right, and then don't we, like, crouch under? Yeah, so there's, yeah, there's coins... And then there's bears that we can collect as well. I also remember, Jesus Christ, that there's like an enemy around, right? Oh, I don't hold, I don't have to hold crouch, okay? If I hold crouch, I go prone, yes. Investigate the arcade, objective. I remember, oh, Jesus Christ, like I really like this game initially as well when playing the demo as well. Oh god, can I change that to F to actually pay respects instead? There we go, because every time I go and pick up something, I always press F. I think it's because most of the time you lean with Q and E. So I was, oh my god, I I then press F to pick up the freaking note. Jesus Christ. Everyone has been really nice, but A-Bit Ryan. I know I did that freaking same joke initially. Everyone's been really nice, but Ryan. A-Bit Ryan, what are you freaking doing, mate? You stop tending to the crofteria. Let's see, do I go through here now? I don't. I kind of expected me to go, like, straight back into kind of, like, speedrunning mode. Oh, yes, I, I played this game yesterday. I know exactly what I'm going to do. It's always cool, like, playing a game that you really like again after... I mean, it's not even been a year yet, I guess. I like guess it's only been, well, like, three three quarters of a year? Maybe, like, seven-eighths of a year, something like that. Almost a year. Actually, I don't know. I think it came out in March, so however long that is. A few months. And it still feels like I only played this game yesterday. But I feel like, like, I always say that to people in real life and maybe on the, like, YouTube as well. I have a very bad memory for games until I start playing them. And then, as I've said, it's like I played it yesterday. 
Like if I just suddenly don't play Minecraft for a year and then start playing it. Oh yes, Ender Dragon, beaten in four minutes. Better than my freaking world record that I got yesterday. Oh no, that wasn't yesterday, that was four years ago I last played the game. It's like that's that's how my memory works for pretty much everything like in real life as well. So like I went work on a construction site for three years and then I come back and it's like, yep, I was here yesterday guys, come on. Like my, my brain just is very strange like that. What am I actually doing? Can I, is there a thing to investigate the arcade? Yeah. What is that? Not even freaking 10 minutes in, I'm already stuck, brilliant. I used to be literally probably the world record holder for beating this game the quickest. I don't know. Does this game actually have a, was it called like a speedrun.com thing? Who knows? I know I need to go in there, but I need a key, right? Where do I get that key from? Also, that freaking A looks like Among Us. Brilliant. Is it now that I crawl under this thing? It's either you crawl under this now or you go... No, I don't think you go through this one. I think that's a bit later on, yeah. It does feel, as I said, like really weird. I was really good at this game and now suddenly I have no idea what I'm freaking doing. Yeah, it's not that way. I'm genuinely stuck. Like, this this isn't me trolling. I genuinely, completely have no idea what I do now. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I know what it is. Isn't it, like, a weird one where you have to, like, have the key out and right-click? That's what I'm doing, isn't it? I have the key. I just need to right-click on the door. As I said, I'm feeling a bit slow today. Then again, that is what I would do if I'm feeling absolutely 100% perfect. Yes. I left-click on the door and it opens. That's how freaking simple that was. Do I want to keep these bits in? I guess I'll keep, like, the first bit in. Oh, yeah, I need to actually insert the coins. I like that as well, where you actually have to, like, insert each coin. We went, like, really in-depth with this game. Like, I, I didn't look up, I, I believe I didn't look up, like, any achievements, like, how to get them. So we did this, I remember we did it on a stream, like, the first time I really liked, uh, either the first or the second, maybe the third month where I was actually, like, streaming on Twitch. We did, like, four or five streams of this just, like, little indie game, because I really freaking liked it. Like, it's very rare you get, especially, like, a really cool indie game that I like, anyway. So yeah, of course I would play the freaking crap out of it and get all the achievements as well. I always hate it when a game comes out that I really enjoy and it's like, yeah, there's no achievements. So you finish the game, go away. No collectibles, no achievements, go away. You've, you've done. I mean, you could replay the game again, but what's the freaking fun in that? Oh, of course, all of the IRL sounds. I like that as well, like when you're playing this and you can like pass things into the unit, pass things out of the unit. That's why I like this game because it tried something really new and did it very well. I don't think there was really any of that in the demo as well, so they didn't, like, spoil, or quote-unquote spoil, like, the coolest thing about the game in the demo. The demo was just like, yeah, this is a cool game. Oh, that looks relatively right. The full game comes out. Okay, that's all the stuff that they were working on that they didn't show us in the demo, and that is why the game is hopefully, hopefully, overwhelmingly positive, if I can say the word correctly. So this guy signifies, there we go, the enemy is now here, brilliant. That is the enemy in the game, so that signifies basically, like, we've just allowed him to come out of the machine. Brilliant. Is this when he appears? I don't think he's here now, right? Yeah, he's not here now, yeah. I, I know that there is one bit where, like, you have to run in and hide. Is it over here now? It's not over here. Now do we go? Oh, we might be doing my favourite bit of the game. Apparently, because I've mentioned it 14 million times, actually, like, going into the vent bit now. I don't know why. Events are very slow in games. Yep, of course, this is what we do now. I don't think you're actually there, right? I'm still a bit scared because I don't remember how scary, like, the freaking jump scares are so i'm not like well what i would do before just like run up see oh are you gonna jump scare me yeah this is this is now yeah yeah forget how scary this is i feel like it's relatively scary i mean if it wasn't scary it probably wouldn't be my favorite indie game of like this year i know we had it steals as well and that's still incredible that's definitely probably my for I'm, I'm saying that because that's not like in the list that's probably my second favorite one but i mean jesus christ like i i really want to get the last two achievements but my god like i, I remember the torture i went through recording that game and like the amount i did the freaking three episodes i did like i've just basically i'm um, like earlier today 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 this morning jesus christ i am really freaking slow today aren't i messing up my words even more like today i just edited a bunch of like the next batch of clips and tiktok videos and the clips videos were like some it stills clips and like just seeing how much pain i went through and like how genuinely annoyed i was like dying really close to the end because it was one of the hardest horror games i've ever played if not the hardest i'm genuinely still shocked that i actually managed to beat the game and get all but two of the achievements. It's insane. Like, I don't know anyone that's actually got all the achievements. I remember as well, I used to know, like, exactly the correct times of this. Like, I, I wouldn't have gone down then. God, I'm, like, really freaking noob, noobalicious right now. Actually going down there, thinking that's where I'm meant to go. I'm meant to go over here. Me? I'm meant to go over here, then you get attacked by the guy. Come on now. Why are the splits not on the screen? This is definitely freaking world record pace right now. I know, guaranteed, this guy doesn't actually come in. I would be really scared if this was my first rodeo, like, oh god, the guy's here, oh no, I wouldn't be totally trying to freaking open the door or anything, I know for a fact, guaranteed, he doesn't actually come in here. I always like that, playing the game for the first time, and like, every small thing you're terrified at, but then, like, you play it the second time, you know, you know he's not gonna come in the door, you, you cannot be terrified and pretend you're terrified to the camera, because he's not actually coming in here, he's not gonna jump scare you. 
he is big scary whatever he is. He's not actually in here, and I don't have a key to go over there, so what do I do? I play this again, right? I believe I play the game again, or at least, like, you... If you can play the game again, and actually, like, use your coins to play the game again, it probably is that you play the game again. Oh, yeah, because I didn't actually get the key. And then this is the first time. Okay, that was actually kind of... I forgot about that jump scare. Like, the freaking... the shadow going over the screen. You get this key, and this is the first rendition of my... One of my, like, favourite- probably my favourite thing in the game, at least that I can remember. That's a freaking meme now. I am not meant to be going this way. Yeah, like, you go back to the machine, and then you do this. Use. And the key's IRL now. Literally IRL. People watching this, you turn around. There's a key there now. There's this specific key there. The key that I am very much so holding in my hand is now behind you, IRL. That's freaking cool. Oh, Jesus. Again, he's not there. I know you're not there, mate. I mean, you wouldn't be through the freaking wall now, or maybe you're in there. Because that is a door- I know that you can't actually- or a room that I know you can't go into. Because you can't even interact with the freaking door. Can you go- okay, that- yeah, the text just suggests that's just back to like the arcade normal bit. Imagine like I- I don't even acknowledge how long I've been recording for and then suddenly I beat the game in about an hour. That'll be amazing. Yeah, this signifies that there's a bear head there. It took me ages to realise. I thought that was a pig head originally. I remember thinking that was a pig head. Because you get like them sweets, at least in the UK you get like raspberry or strawberry sweets. And that's what I thought it was. Then I let it realise that was a bear head. Because it clearly is a bear head. Yeah, that's another thing. So my light is off now. Switch to another weapon that you said. Switch to another item. Switch back and then the light's on again. I remember not really liking that. Because if you if you left your torch on, turned it off, switch, use the key, then your torch is on. And you were right next to an enemy assuming like, okay, well my torch was off. It's going to be off when I switch to it. Like it wouldn't be and then you die. Like you could die from that. I'm pretty sure I did die from that. Which is why I remember it now. It was a horrible memory because I got right to the end of something and then died from that happening. I never liked that. Like, I don't know how easy that is to code. Just saying, like, the light's off. I turn the light off. I switch to another item. I switch back. Yeah, I can see. Why is the light on now? The light was off. I didn't save for the light to go on. Just because, like, I default back to that one. Why is, like, the default thing, the light on, and then it doesn't change? Like, why is that? Also, I remember hunting around for all of these keys quite a lot. There's probably still not keys, um, the coins. There's probably still coins around here that I don't know of, to be fair. Like, some of them were, even the ones that I found were pretty freaking hard to find. Let alone the 17 million that I didn't find. And I need to... I mean, have I ever been to an arcade before and just used the freaking machines without paying for them? Not how life works. Actually, there was one thing that I looked up. It was to get, like, the, the highest score achievement. God, that was quite painful. Like, I, I literally followed a step-by-step -step instructions. Did I do that on... I feel like I did that on stream for some reason. Like, I just watched the tutorial on the stream. That would have been very freaking enjoyable for me just not talking for five minutes to make sure I don't miss any of these blobs as well. Like, you miss one of these freaking blue blobs, you're not going to get the highest score. Oh no, wasn't it? I remember there were two endings, and no one knew, like, the best ending to get at the time. Like, maybe they do now. I think the game's been updated twice, just with, like, um... Improvements to, like, how it runs and everything. I mean, clearly, as you can tell, it's a very freaking high graphical game right now. And yeah, that being a freaking pain. Like, the, the end boss, the amount of times I died on it, and, like, you have to... Yeah, don't you have to sweep up, like, when it turns all 3D, and you have to sweep up all of the freaking, like, these things. Oh, I can actually go over there, yeah. That was very painful. Like, it, it was just very precise. Like, if you missed one, then you just can't get the achievement. Which is fine, it just means that, like, I had to pretty much look up a video for that. That is in the game, that is good. As in, not real life, where am I going? Here we go, brilliant. And then can I have the key, please? Oh no, not the key, the screwdriver, great. And then I use it to open this. People watching this in the the uh, Jams of Bees playlist as well. Hopefully the audio is a bit better. This is probably like the audio, um, hopefully it doesn't sound awful now, like specifically OBS has crashed. Like this audio is probably the one that I'm the most fond of because like me recording, like using a controller, you can't hear the controller at all. Me using keyboard and mouse, you're never going to not be able to hear the keyboard and mouse at all. But I feel like the keyboard especially, you can hear maybe like five, eight, ten percent of it, something like that. And then the mouse obviously, like it, it just really depends like if I really massively like push my freaking hand on a key, you'll hear it. The same as, like, if I click really loudly, you'll hear it. It's just, like, me learning to be a bit, like, softer with that. I found this. This is the bear head that I didn't actually, um, find before. That was the other thing I had to look up, right? It was that and then the high score thing. I'm pretty sure that was all I had to look up. Because that one I just couldn't find, even though there is a bear head thing there, so clearly it's around there. But I think that's got to be before, like, I realised a bear head signifies there being a bear there. Sounds very stupid. I promise that I'm ill now when I wasn't ill back then. That was me just being freaking stupid for the sake of it. Oh yeah, there's yeah, there's a weird wall of red flesh following me. Copyright of freaking Jansa please, not Terraria. Oh yeah, I was like, what do I do here? I expected because I played a few games before or since it. Oh, don't you actually die if you go up to there? I remember doing that before accidentally. Like dying in the most stupid way. 
Like, I expected it to just open normally. I forget you have to, yeah, like, use the screwdriver for the other side as well. Can I has you, please? I actually... No, I didn't need you. Or just about nearly needed you. I only have one freaking coin after using this one. Then ease of play. Level the roof, okay. Yeah, so we actually are, like, in the game, you're... This, this essentially is you. And that is me doing that sound. That is not the other guy. I destroyed that rubbish, which is why that sound happened. Oh, that's just done now, right? Yeah. I forget sometimes you don't necessarily, like, get to an end. Yeah, that guy's still gonna hurt me. I feel like I didn't know that coin was there. Okay. I might have just found an exclusive coin. That might be... There might be some exclusive content in this one. I mean, I might unintentionally do something I've never done before in the game. And then just not realise I'm doing something new. Yeah, we gotta use this one now, and then this just allows us to get to the next bit. I oh, pressed F, never mind. And then don't you... Like, with different machines, it's the same thing. Oh no, that's not it. Oh no, that is it, and then there's another machine here. Here we go. And then where that blue was... Oh, it just means I'm on the other side. That's right, like, it's the, it's the same map layout. But then some of these machines, like, spawn you in different places, so then you can continue going. It's kind of cool, like, then a bunch of different machines, like, line up with each other. Like, if you... Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. Zoomed out of the entire map when playing this. You would see, like, basically just all the other characters. Oh, yeah, I can go down left here. Then do this one. Is it just one on the left? Boom, there we go. I wonder if you're really quick, you can actually see the rubbish actually move, or does it, like, just instantly get cold out of the environment? Is this... I know, like, the, the creature comes and, like, smashes down the environment. Oh, no, all of this is open now. Yeah, so we need to go up. There's going to be one here. Oh, up right, this one, and then up left. There'll be one more. That is very loud. Is that them smashing the freaking glass down? No, that is actually everything. Never mind. Oh, jeez, I thought it was... I thought I was freaking blocked in then. Yeah, the guy now, like, smashes through the glass, right? Oh, no, he already has. Brilliant. That is me actually doing that then. Never mind. I always thought the guy did it. And I'm about to die because everything's got freaking black and white. Fantastic. Another coin, please. I mean, how many do I actually have? I've got three now, yeah. So I, I probably always just want to have three. So no matter what, like, the next bit of, of the um, actual story I can do. I, I'll probably still, like, I definitely won't do the whole game now. So for, like, like it's, it's not hard to record. It's just harder to record when I'm feeling just a bit strange. Like, my legs just hurt now for some reason, and my voice isn't the freaking greatest, but then my voice isn't the greatest just because I'm recording a bunch. I gotta get Nostalgia Week done. I mean, this, this is the freaking first day of Nostalgia Week, and already my voice is like this, so this isn't gonna go freaking good. Might as well have the entirety of freaking January off and just bun off Spongebob Cosmic Shake releasing. I mean, gladly, that is the only big game release in January that I'm actually gonna be like, uh, playing. Again, oh no, it's this one? No, never mind. Oh, I didn't realise you could actually use a key for, like, a wrong door. It's not this one, because I know the guy smashes through there. Is it this one, actually? Is this, like, the main area? Yeah, I feel like it is, because that's where the thing is. Oh no, you go into here first, right? That's the thing. No, you don't. I can't go into there. I need a thing to get rid of this. Okay, brilliant. Where do I go, then? Oh, it's just this. Okay. I mean, this is just back here, though. I mean, then again, like, this is all here? Oh yeah, here. Is this when I, like, come out of here and then he's gonna be there? Like, isn't the, yeah, the machine gone hide? I'm hiding, mate! I'm gonna hide properly. I know that I can go all the way through here. Is there an actual bear in one of these? Or is that somewhere? No, that's somewhere else. I remember where that is now. I might try and get, like, one bear. Who knows? Oh, God, yeah. Isn't it that if you actually stay in that one, he opens it, right? So you get caught. Isn't that what, what happened last time? Or the first time, should I say? Why are you still here, mate? Jesus Christ, I'm trying to make freaking content here. It's Christmas now. Well, actually, no, it's it's New Year's New Year's Eve, New Year's Day now. It's, it's 2023, your current year you've taken so freaking long, mate. Okay, no, I mean, I guess... No, he is. And then doesn't he smash down this area? And then if you get too close, he hears you. Investigate the main hall, yeah. He goes in here, and then doesn't he just disappear immediately? Yeah, I remember that. Hell yes. Good, my memory's relatively right. My dudes is like one of the last things we do, because this is like a core bit of the game. This is when we keep coming back to your old. Oh, I remember all of the freaking like the bugs and everything that I had. Like, couldn't I not finish the game two or three times and I had to like completely reset the whole thing? Because I don't think it saves, right? Or at least if it does save, there's no point because like it, it would save at the bit that it broke. Like the game's like, oh, we soft lot, so let's save immediately and not allow you to load a previous save. Because that would be stupid, wouldn't it? Yeah, like now we're here, we come out. And now things have changed. Or oh, wasn't that that impossible puzzle? Well, I wonder if that's been fixed. Like, there was literally that impossible puzzle. And is this still... Oh, no, I need to look at a different angle, don't I? Like, for a guy to appear there? I mean, we got 3,700. Is that the max that I can have? I feel like because now I still don't have the sweeper, like, outside of the game. Is it here? Or is it this one? 
Oh no, yeah, it's that one you can't see the machine. But isn't it this one as well? There's like a person there, right? Oh no, just another machine again, okay. Oh yeah, this one, the opposite. You can like give another machine an item. Hell yes. There we go. Like that stuff is so freaking cool. Like you haven't seen anyone do that before. Like that is just really freaking cool still. I hope they um like expand on this game. Maybe we'll get like a chance of these two next year. Yeah, this one appears now. I'm trying to go a bit softly now because my voice is starting to hurt a bit. Okay, that opens again. One level. Great news. Oh, is it this here? Here we go. I think this is my favourite. Is this my favourite bit of the game? Like my favourite scare? Not to spoil the game or anything, but then again, like I've done three videos on this game in the past. I think it's now, right? Because everything's really dark. Oh, God. What's going to happen? Oh, God, it's a bit light and out. Find a blue key to unlock sequence of the main hall. Okay. It's not now, never mind. Do I... I guess I need this, then yeah. Hall A is not where I go now. I might as well just... No, I can't even... It doesn't have the thing. Never mind, I can't even check. This way now we go, right? Yes, it is. Oh, and that's back here. So is it into the warehouse now? If my brain is working correctly, don't we go down this way? Because it's a red door again. Here we freaking go. I'll actually leave this. I, I feel like this would be perfect for like a 20, 25 minute video. There's a secret... Oh, right here, right? A secret vent going outside? Hell yeah. We'll go and do this, why not? I said I kind of wanted to get like a teddy bear in this one. Hopefully, I mean, then again, I have upgraded fully to like Windows 11 and everything, like my whole PC's factory reset. So I imagine all of the bears. I don't think it was this game. I know that was that like, one game where like, even if you completely delete the save files, everything, like the collectibles were still there, the ones you got. I know there's a bear around here. Or was it you do this and then you turn around, right? Oh, I don't, oh no, I do have. Why did I feel like I didn't have three coins? Never mind. The main hall. Behind you. Hell yes. Teddy bear. Oh, yep. You. That's the thing that I was waiting for. Didn't make me jump because I remembered it. Hell yeah. We got one teddy bear. But this, ladies and gentlemen, does conclude day number one of Nostalgia Week. I would probably record a bit longer. My apologies. This whole week is probably just going to be me having a bit of a bad, like, throat just because I'm talking a bit like I'm not sick or anything. I do feel like, as I said, just a bit slower and a bit, like, achy, which is just... I'm getting old. I mean, I'm freaking 21, literally the end of this week that you're watching this video so that's how insanely old i am jesus christ i need a freaking wheelchair soon but that ladies and gentlemen does conclude day number one of nostalgia week for 2022 where we play through a bit more of janitor bleeds as usual there'll be a link in the description in front of yourself but for now hopefully you've enjoyed please like this subscribe for our brand new let's have a boy boss fabric thanks for watching peace <laughs>